All right, brewers, I am about to introduce you to one of my favorite brewery tools, the October Design SL1 Can Seamer. Uh, in our journey of packaging beer, we covered bottling, kegging, and uh, ultimately one of the last pieces of my brewery um, that really rounded it out was a canner because this allows me to take things to parties, to give beer away, um, whatever the case, or if I've got a keg that's almost empty and I wanna free up the space, boom, bust out the can seamer, knock them out, drain that keg. Another fun tool that I have that also works on brewing, or I'm sorry, on bottling, is the uh, Blickman Engineering Bottle Gun. So this is a fantastically made tool, um, works equally well for canning, even though it is technically made for bottling. Um, I'm gonna explain to you the setup, and then I'm going to can a six pack, and you're gonna see the whole process all the way through. Over here, I have a keg of my Amber Ale, uh, Make America Amber again from Brewlosophy, fantastic recipe. It is hooked up to a CO2 tank right here. I have a dual regulator on it. Uh, one is going to the bottom side of the beer gun. And what that allows me to do is to purge these cans by uh, pushing down on the, uh, the top feather trigger. So. Um, that is that goes to the back of the gun. So that's CO2 purging for the cans or bottle, whichever you're using. Um, the other line out of that CO2 is going onto the keg. So I depressurize it because that lives at about 12 PSI. I lowered that to about eight. That's gonna reduce the foaming coming out of this gun. Um, the beer line is very long, which also helps. And then the third thing that we're gonna do to reduce foaming is I used sanitizer that is very cold. So cold sanitizer will um, help with that. So warmth always makes things foam up. So we're taking all the steps that we can to make this as seamless and smooth as possible. After a couple cans, you'll get it. It'll dial in and uh, you're all set. I do, so like I said, this is sanitizer. We're gonna do that to rinse the cans before we use them and rinse them after we have filled them because there's gonna be some beer on the outside. Um, that's it, other than that, we've got our can seamer and you're gonna see it. This particular one is set with the chuck for the 16 ounce cans, which are tall, but there is a little adapter that sits right on top and you can do 12 ounce cans as well. There's different models that they have. You can do little short guys, you can do crawlers, um, but October Design is a fantastic company. They actually will print and make labels for you just like this, so you get a big box with all your cans and they're pre-labeled for you. Obviously, you can get just get blanks. Um, so, great customer service, they're fantastic guys. Uh, let's get to it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize three cans and I'm gonna start my um, progress over here and we'll see if uh, I get into the flow where you can just kind of keep a riff. Again, uh, bottling and canning, it's always easier if you've got two people. So one person's doing the filling, one person's doing the seaming. It makes things go a lot faster. Um, let's get right to it. So I'm gonna take the cans, dip them in the sanitizer. The bottling gun has been sanitized already. So I lay those here. I'm just gonna do three at a time so that the cans aren't sitting there with open beer. You don't want like gnats or dust or knock them over or whatever the case. So uh, I, try to bite. I try to not bite off more than I can chew. So the, this, we're gonna dip it again. You put that down into the bottom. Remember this top trigger, that's just CO2. Purge it for a couple of seconds and then I switch to filling. The first one, there's always some uh, air in the line. I probably should have dumped that out into a separate vessel just to clear it, but I sanitized all of the lines, so I'm not too concerned about this one. I'm gonna go until the foam comes up to the top and then let it overflow just a smidge so that it is completely full. You'll see it. Boom. Switch right into the next can. Sanitize the lid and moosh foam down.
These fill from the bottom up. Same oxidizing principles happen. If these are gonna be stored, you want as little oxygen as possible. That's why we put that CO2 in there and we fill it gently. You can fill these right off of the tap, but that's splashing into the can. You're gonna lose a little bit more carbonation doing it that way. So the, the beer gun makes it very um, smooth and simple. It gives your beer the most chances to survive uh, happily and be shelf stable. Look at that. And it just overflows just a hair. Pull it out. So while this is flowing, I'm gonna load this guy up into the canner, raise it up, start the spin, seam, seam, turn it off, got a can. Rinse it, move it to the side. There you have it, canned up, ready to go. You just write onto these labels or you can have the labels printed with the name of the beer, but this is fully sealed, um, happy. There's no oxygen inside there. And uh, again, one of my favorite tools in the brewery. If uh, you wanna take beer wherever you're going, this is the, this is the trick. I hope that was helpful and uh, now you know how to can.